Next letter is called ta. Ta. Ta is just like the T with your mouth full. Instead of saying ta, you say ta. 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 A very good example of the letter ta is the word ta'ir. Ta'ir. Ta'ir means a bird. Remember, it's not ta'ir, it's ta. Ta'ir. Ta'ir. Another example is the word talib. Talib. Talib means a demand. Next letter is called va. Va. Remember letter dhal. Dhal is kind of like the th in the word father. So it's the. The. Va is just like the the, but with your mouth full. The, like father, or va, like no words in English, obviously. So an example of the letter va is the word vahara. 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 It's a past verb. It means appeared or emerged, like it became visible. Another example of va is the word warf. Warf. Warf means an envelope. So va, vahara, warf. Next letter is called ain. 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 And how ain looks like? It looks kind of like number three in English, but it's mirrored. You see the difference? So how do we pronounce the letter ain? I'm sorry to say this, but the only way to master the letter ain is to know that letter ain comes from the exact place where you throw up, where you vomit. So it's like ah. Ah, ayn. And that's one tough letter. It will definitely cause your throat to hurt a little bit while you're practicing, but I think it's gonna be worth your while. If you master it, you're gonna impress everybody else. We Arabs do not expect anybody to master this letter. So if you do it, congratulations. So a very good example of the letter ayn is my name. My name is Abdurrahman. It's not Abdurrahman. So Abdurrahman means the slave of God, like the one who worships God. Abdurrahman. Another example of the letter ayn is the word amil. Amil. It's not amil, it's a. Amil. Amil means worker. The next letter is the letter Ghain. Ghain. Ghain looks exactly like Ain, but with a dot on top of it. So how do I pronounce the letter Ghain? One second. This is exactly how you pronounce the letter Ghain. The letter Ghain comes exactly from the place where you do the gargling from. Like if you're gargling water inside of your throat, that's almost the sound of Ghain. Ghain. Rain. So an example for the letter Rain is the word Rabi. Rabi. Rabi means stupid. Another example is the word Gharib. Gharib. Gharib means strange. <laughs>